officiated by Mr. Hotsul. The Lady Martins are coached by Mr. John Fountain. Mrs. Aaron Tomlin and Mr. Bill Myers are the assistant coaches. Injured and not available for this game is Stephanie Brody. Number 10, Kate Flynn. Number 15, Tommy Will. Number 14, Jessica Wink. Number 31, Kate Blacker. Number 34, Dulce Sanchez. Number 44, Jesse Wiggins. Number 33, Janine Hunger. Number 22, Rhiannon Rivers. And now, the Lady Hornets, starting five. Number 25, Lady Junior, Lindsay Tyler. Number 32, Junior, Courtney Brown. Number 28, Junior, Megan Reserve. Number 11, a Senior, Cameron Allen. Number 30, a Senior, Debbie Davis. The home team for this game in Northeastern London Central. The Lady Cougars are coached by Mr. Andy Landry. Mr. Norm Donald and Mr. David Lambert are the assistant coaches. Number two, Rachel Corte. Number four, Brittany Phillips. Number 13, Kaylee Garen. Number 33, Stephanie Minshaw. Number 44, Chelsea Cameron. And now the Lady Cougars starting five. Number 11, a junior, Abby Lambert. Number 41, a freshman, Courtney Corte. Number 14, a senior, Bobby Cooley. Number 22, a sophomore, Brittany Jarvis. Number 5, a junior, Gary Aaron. Your officials for this game, Mr. Leary and Mr. Parker. Mr. Bruce is the official timer. Mrs. Gagnon the official scorer. Mr. Bruce Gagnon is on the shot clock. Mr. Donnelly is the athletic trainer. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem. It's Calvin Castine. It's 8.07 p.m. We've been here all day. This is the fourth game of the day. Section 7, Class B semifinals at the Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse. Tim Leary, Steve Parker are the officials. Opening tip controlled by the Cougars. Kerry Guerin gives to Brittany Jarvis. Over to Abby Lambert to Bobby Gooley. Winner will face Saranac Central, a team that defeated the Beaton Town Eagles. And they're playing right here for the championship game first year that they've played here and I think maybe the first year the girls have ever played here probably maybe not but uh, 
stop by Poirier. Jim Leary and uh, told me that uh, back in he was playing and Steve Parker was playing. They played for different teams, but they faced each other right here at the field house. This used to be the site many years ago. Obviously, it's many years ago if uh, Parker and Leary were still playing. About 25 years ago, or 20, no, 20 years ago, I guess. No, no, and it couldn't be 20, 25 years ago, in the late 70s. Not the early 80s by any means. The late 70s. Foul on Courtney Downs. Courtney Drowns, excuse me. Cougars uh, favorite in this game. And uh, impacting on that, uh, the Cougars would have been favorite anyway, but uh, Stephanie Brody, who played such a nice game last time, the Cougars and Hornets met. Decided to go snowboarding and ended up with a leg injury. Now taking herself out of the sectional playoffs. There's more than just you involved. The team counts on you. And you can't go out and take chances. Last year the Cougars could have gone further, but uh, some of their players... Uh, Broke some team rules and were ineligible for the for several games, and those games happened to be playoff time. And uh, the Cougars never got by the regional competition, where if they had those players available, they certainly would have been favored to continue on and go further. So it's not just uh, your fun out there, kids. It's your teammates. You're part of a team, and you can't go out and uh, break the team rules and you can't go out and uh, do things that uh, might cause you to get hurt and take, uh, take the uh, potential for a, a victory away from your team. These clubs have met twice this year. Northeastern winning both times. Regardless scores. First time was 59-41. And the last time was a close one, 65-56. Glassford High School is 13-8 on the season. Northeastern is 17-3. Leading scorer for the Cougars is Courtney Coyier at 15.9. Brittany Jarvis carries a 10.8 average and Carrie Garand a 9.9 .9 average. On the Plattsburgh side, uh, Courtney Drown has a 12.6 average and Debbie Davis a 10.8 average. Uh, Camry Allen is number nine in the region in three-point shooting. She has 18 threes for the season. Abby Lambert, the top three-point shooter for the Cougars, has 12. <laughs> Plattsburgh got here by defeating Peru 50 to 36 in a quarterfinal game. Jarvis will bring it up. Picked up by Davis. Garen misses the shot, gets the rebound. Over to Corrier. Slapped by Allen, but controlled by Jarvis. Gooley. Jarvis back to Gooley. And Bobby Gooley hits. This uh, floor is some kind of rubber composite. It's right on the cement from what we've been told. So it's a uh, surface that uh, bother bothers you more the day after you play than it does the day you play. When you, I, for the first game I taped today, I dribbled the ball in the corner just to see how the floor reacted. The floor reaction is pretty much the the same as it is on a hardwood floor. Big difference was the sound. Gooley with the steal right in her hands. She couldn't believe she had the ball. And Ellen knocks it loose. Big factor was the sound. It has a little bit more of a muffled sound. And that added to this cavernous building where there's no uh, 
reflection off the wall the echo here you dribble and it's uh, not as uh, not as a normal type sound that you would find when you uh, dribble a basketball but the big factor is the backboards being out in the middle of the the building like this nothing to no wall to uh, guide you I would say Plattsburgh probably has a slight advantage because they do have one of their baskets is like this at the Barker Memorial Gymnasium. So they're more used to having a basket out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it just takes a little while to get used to it. Lambert lobs underneath for Corrier off her hands. Allen will inbound to Davis. Jarvis will pick up the defense. And we have Kaylee Garand in. She's going to replace Courtney Corrier. Corrier sitting between the coaches, uh, Norm Bono and uh, Andy Landry. Foul on Jarvis. The first foul on the Cougars. Well, all the final four games and the B's and C's are played here. New format. I would assume it's going to be around for a while. Certainly not going to say it's permanent because there's nothing in the world that's permanent. But uh, the C games went on earlier today at two and four. The B's. First one was at six, this one's at eight, and they'll do the same thing tomorrow on Saturday. Kaylee Guerin, pass picked off by Davis. Cougars leading at 6-2. Davis puts it off the glass and in. Nice shot by Double D, Debbie Davis. And it's 6-4 with 2.52 showing here in the first period. Jarvis to Gooley over to Guerin. Poirier at the scoring table, set to come back in. Lob to Kerry Garand, off the rim. Tapped out of bounds. By Brown will be white ball. Abby Lambert will inbound it. And Poirier turns, misses the shot. Brown with the rebound. Hands the ball to Allen. Zurich gives it over to Davis. Now Tyler puts a shot up. Zurich gets it back. Allen to Davis. And jump ball. Plattsburgh's turn. Allen will inbound it. Davis quickly back to Allen, short hopser. Pass was uh, just a few inches in front of her toes. Two minutes remains in the first period. Poirier, she's had a high dribble there. Timeout, timeout. Everybody disappeared. Timeout. Allen will inbound it. Up to Davis. Missouri. Goes to Tyler. Missouri with a shot. It's good. Two-pointer makes it 6-6. Six, six. Corrier makes a long shot off the rim. Davis will bring it up. Minute 11. Rebound by Jarvis. Now Gooley with the ball. 
Slapped out of Jarvis's hands, it'll be off white. Brittany Phillips in for Brittany Jarvis. 53.4 on the clock. It's a low scoring 6 6 after the first 7 0 7. Davis penetrates. We're going to have a foul on Kerry Guerin. Davis misses the first. With 44 seconds showing, she can put her team in the lead. And she does. 7 6 Plattsburgh. Poirier into Lambert. Gulley to Poirier. Gulley gets it back. Slapped loose by Davis. And Garen Davis got a call foul. Be on drown, I guess. Foul Brown has both Plattsburgh fouls, so it's not good for the Hornet side. The center picks up two quick fouls. Corrier misses the shot. Lambert to Guerin. She misses. Drown with the rebound. 14 seconds. Plattsburgh can take a three or four point lead here. Eight seconds. The Drown. 13 footer is good. Hornets up by three. That's going to do it. First period ends with Plattsburgh leading 9 to 6. Section 7, Class B, semifinals on Hometown Cable. Lambert will toss it into Gooley. And second quarter is underway. Phillips underneath for Corrier. Gooley takes a 15 footer and hits. 9-8 the score. Davis into the forecourt for Plattsburgh. Allen. Over to Tyler. Tyler guarded by Chelsea Cameron. Allen back to Tyler. Davis for three. No. Kept alive and controlled by Drown. She's tied up by Bobby Gooley. Comes deep for Tyler over to Missouri. Tyler in the corner to Missouri. And Camry Allen hits the three pointer. It's 12 8 Plattsburgh, 7 05 to go in the half. Corrier. Phillips keeps it in play. Tyler will give it to Davis. Poirier pulls it down. Slapped out of her hands by Davis. Tyler brings it back. Davis to Missouri. Now Allen underneath for Drown. Off the rim, rebounded by Poirier. Lily into the forecourt to Cameron. Corrier lobs underneath. Brown slaps the ball away. It was intended for Lambert. Allen races it up the floor for Plattsburgh. Nothing there. She holds it up. Out front to Davis. Allen back to Davis. Maybe Davis surveying the situation. Pass comes to Allen. Now Missouri puts it up and in. And Katie Missouri makes it 14 8, 6 point Plattsburgh lead. Cameron to Corrier. Corrier misses the shot. Foul on Chelsea Cameron. 
Kate Flynn and Connie Whalen in for Plattsburgh. Jarvis back in for the Cougars. 5.25 showing here in the first half. Plattsburgh up by six. Corey with the rebound off Davis' shot. Up for Gouler. Cameron with a shot. Falls in. Chelsea Cameron. It's a friendly bounce it up the front of the rim. And momentum pushed it ahead just enough for it to fall in. And then we have a jump ball. Cameron and Coye tying up Flynn. Fourteen ten the score, just under five minutes to go in the second period. Jarvis over to Garen. Garen lays it up short, way short. Missouri pulls it down. Now Davis will bring it up. Allen for three. No. Courtney Corrier with the rebound. Gooley will bring it up for the Cougars. Pushes it up to, to Jarvis. To Garen, to Corrier. Too strong. Rebounded by Whalen. Ball comes back to Whalen. And traveling is a call. No basket. Now Lambert in. And I think Tyler came back in. Jarvis will bring it up the floor. Lambert to Gooley. Corrier backs in. Jarvis misses. Tyler with the rebound. She's fouled. On Jarvis. I'll be here second, I believe. Just under four minutes to go in the first half. Plattsburgh with the ball. They lead by four. Section 7, Class B semifinals. Winner goes against Saranac for the championship. Cougars are the defending champions. Tyler. Picked away by Lambert. Lays it up off the rim and pulled down by Tyler. Now Allen up to Davis. No basket. Foul before the shot. That'll be Jarvis's third. He'll come out. Stephanie Bayshard will come in for it. From the corner, Camry Allen with a second three-pointer. Plattsburgh lead at seven points. Bayshard back to Gooley. Cameron, I mean, excuse me, Corrier, Courtney Corrier. 17-12, three minutes to go in the half. Tyler comes high, gives the ball back to Davis. Uh, Allen, underneath for Drown, foul on Corrier. Foul on Northeastern, Corrier, first, team six. Corrier picks up her first foul. Cougars have six, Plattsburgh two at this juncture, 2.43 on the clock. Drown shooting two. In and out. 17-12, Hornets leading. Eighteen twelve. Gooley brings it up. Garen. Rebounded by Allen, over to Davis. Allen under for Drown, back to Allen. 
Allen is blocked. Brown puts it up, gets the ball back. Puts it up in heavy traffic. And Lambert up to Gooley. Bayshard, quick pass to Corrier underneath for Lambert. 18 to 14, under two minutes to go in the second quarter. Allen thinks, no, that's Tyler. Tyler over to Allen, now to, to Missouri. Davis for three, no. Bayshard with the rebound. Gets the ball to Gooley. Minute and a half to go in the second. Corrier carries it out. Gooley to Guerin. She throws it up. Hits the rim. Pulled down by Camry Allen. And Lambert for foul. Foul in order to use Lambert in her first beat seven. Brittany Phillips will come in for Northeastern, 1.14 on the clock. Allen will shoot two. And put the lead back at six for Plattsburgh. Misses the first. Phillips replaces Lambert. And second one's good. 19 to 14, ball comes up to Phillips. Gooley. Corrier back to Gooley. Garen gets the ball. Phillips to Gooley. Nope. Jump ball. Plattsburg ball. They lead by five. Relatively low scoring here. Double low scores and it'll only be 38-28. Oh, Allen. <laughs> Cougar fans wanted to travel. Took a little stroll there. Drown puts it up. Yeah, Corrier with the rebound. 34 seconds, a lot of time. Gooley to Corrier. I have a foul, I believe, on Davis. Debbie Davis, her first foul. Corey will shoot two. 29.4 on the clock. She can make it a three point game. This is the first. Misses them both. Drown with the rebound to Davis. 22 seconds. Drown to Allen. Allen misses. Tyler rebounds. Drown. Misses. Three seconds. Davis for Allen, it's blocked, and that's going to do it. So Plattsburgh, surprising the Cougars. They lead 19-14 at the half here on Hometown Cable. Section 7, Class B semifinals will continue in a moment. We are moments into the second half. What happens when I visit at halftime? They start without me. Garen shot, rebounded by Tyler. Fourth game of the day, every team that's led at the midway point has went on to victory. Uh, foul on Jarvis, that'll be number four. Brittany Jarvis. Jarvis, 
She heads right for the bench. Phillips will come in. Missouri got the line. A key player for the Cougars has to grab a seat 25 seconds into the second half. After sitting out much of the first half. Missouri puts the team up by six. Gooley will bring it up. Gooley to Lambert underneath for Corrier. Can't get a handle on it. Davis into the forecourt. Pathberg looking for the upset. Last time they played the Cougars, they lost by only nine points after losing by 18 the first time around. Courtney Drown's done a heck of a job thus far for the Hornets. Puts them up by eight now. Lambert will inbound it. Gooley to Lambert for Corrier. No, oh, it was Garen. Now Corrier and uh, Davis are tied up. Garen's shot rolled off the rim. Allen will inbound it. Cougars not pressing. Gooley will just kind of shadow Davis into the forecourt. Big part of the Cougar success is when they're pressing. And without the press, it's taking a, a lot of their offensive game away. And they just do not want to don't feel comfortable pressing with Jarvis on the bench. Up to Phillips. Phillips too strong. Gooley gets the rebound. Pushes it out for Corrier. Corrier turns in and out. And drown again with the ball. Gives it to Davis. Actually, it fell out into Davis's hands. Allen for three, looking for a third three-pointer. Family Allen with her third tray. And Plattsburgh is up by 11, two minutes into the second half. Lambert off the rim. Rebounded by Davis. Allen. To Missouri. Corrier with the rebound. Goalie will bring it up. Corrier takes it. Falls short. Brown pulls it down. Davis. Should point out that the Cougars, uh, in their last game of the season at Ticonderoga, they scored about uh, less than a half a minute into the fourth quarter and did not score again. So, in about three quarter, over three quarters of about three and a half quarters almost. They have scored 16 points in their last two games. So, that game in Ticonderoga, their cold streak continues. They're leading going into that fourth period and end up losing it. And uh, Brown called for traveling. And their cold streak continues here. Over a week later, or just about a week later, I think it was a week ago today that they played tie. Or maybe, uh, well, maybe a week ago yesterday. Hornets get the ball back. Drown puts it to the floor, puts it up, and scores. And 13 point lead. Plattsburgh almost doubling the Cougar score. Gooley brings it down. Decides to take it herself and scores. Bobby Gooley taking charge that time down, makes it 27 to 16. Davis. 
into the corner. Gives it out to Allen. Allen with a long two-pointer. Cougars were fighting for the ball, and Tyler came out with it. Now Phillips up to Lambert. Allen knocks it loose. Phillips to, Cor to Guerin. Guerin is fouled. Debbie Davis picks up her second foul. Both teams with one foul thus far in the second half. Guerin hits the first. Makes it a 10 point ball game. 343 showing in the third period. Guerin hits them both. Davis to Tyler, back to Davis. 27 18 the score. Allen with the ball. In the corner. Drown may have twisted her knee a little bit. It's up gingerly, but seems to be able to run it, run it off. Plattsburgh can ill afford to lose Drown. No travel call. Looked like she took a step. Garen puts it up off the back of the iron. Booger just can't seem to get it to fall. Allen brings it down to Missouri. Now Davis drives, puts it up, and she's fouled. Abby Lambert picks up her second foul. Davis can put it back to 10. Shooting two. Now she can make it 11. 306 showing here in the third period. 29 18. Gooley into the forecourt. Stops and gives it to Phillips. Poirier to Lambert. Guerin rebounds and scores. Nice effort by Gary Guerin. 29-20. Cougars looking for some spark to ignite them. Davis stops and turns and scores. Uh, they end up trading baskets. So the big basket there by Debbie Davis. 31-20. Two and a half to go in the third. Cougar timeout. Plattsburgh led by five coming into the quarter. They lead by 11. They've outscored Northeastern 12-6. <clears throat> Davis slaps it back. They shot in for the Cougars. Corrier to Gouley. Shot is missed. Davis with the rebound. Corrier slaps it out of bounds. Davis will inbound it for Plattsburgh. Into Allen. Mozart to Davis. Allen pushes it out to Davis. Plattsburgh using the clock. Allen short. Tyler with the rebound gives it back to Allen. To be a jump ball, the Northeastern's turn. Thirty-one twenty. Bayshard into the forecourt. Phillips. Oh, Garen with a shot. No. Garen tips it out of bounds. It'll be black ball. Northeastern Clinton, a lot colder than the temperature. We've had the 40 degree temperature early part of the weekend. And <clears throat> Cougars are still playing as if it's below zero outside. Lotsburg will keep it. 
15 on the shot clock, minute 10 to go in the third. Shot by Zurich is missed. Brown has done a heck of a job. He gets to rebound and draws the foul. Courtney Drown has really been battling hard underneath for Plattsburgh. Foul number for you, for second, team third. Corey picks up her second foul. 102 to go in the third period. Drown gets it to fall. I think 13 has been the biggest margin of the game, and Drown can put it back at 13 right now. Shot is short, but it picked up by Phillips. Bayshard to Corrier. And she's fouled by Allen. Freshman will go to the line for two. Fifty-six point two on the clock, or you can make it a ten-point game. She does. Thirty-two twenty-two. Gooley with a one-man press. All the other four Cougars are back. I think the Cougars have to go for broke and have to press if they're gonna have a chance in this game. They let Plattsburgh bring the ball down the floor every time. Hornets are gonna, are gonna win this one. There are 32 seconds to go. Poirier with the ball. Keeps it, lays it up, and she's fouled again. Poirier can make it an eight-point game. Shooting two. It's the first. Rebound comes long. Berserk grabs it. Again, the Cougars do not press. Davis into the forecourt. Allen. Davis with the ball. Allen for three, yes. Camry Allen with her fourth three-pointer. And four three-pointers is the difference in the game at the moment. 35-23 is the score. 12-point lead for Plattsburgh as we head for the fourth. Plattsburgh with the ball and the 12 point lead. Jarvis back in for the Cougars. Cougars with their starting five on the floor. Plattsburgh with their starting five on the floor. Drown. Problem. Goalie brings it up. Northeastern's going to have to press. So if they do not press, trailing by 12. And they have no chance in this game. Their only hope for the defending champions is to press. Garen shot missed by Corrier. Cougars do not press. Cougars do not press. Glassberg brings it down. Allen with the ball. Cougars should probably go to a man to man defense. Allen's been burning them outside. And Drown has been uh, sneaking in for the rebounds. Drown to Missouri, short. Lambert with the ball. Up to Jarvis. Right in the hands of Drown. Intended for, Ger for Guerin. Again, the Cougars are not pressing the Hornets down the floor. 
a trip. No, we'll travel. Drown wanted a trip. Looks like Lambert stuck a foot in there, not on purpose. But a trip is a trip. Jarvis with the ball. Lambert in the corner to Corrier. Corrier keeps it. Misses the shot. Garen rebounds. Davis with the rebound. Outlet for Allen. Foul on Lambert. Camry Allen. Lambert with a third foul. Allen shooting two. You know she has at least 12 points. And so she has four three pointers. Thirteen point lead for Plattsburgh, six fifteen to go. Corrier drives, lays it in. Again, the Cougars are not pressing. Cougars are not pressing. It boggles the mind that they would not be pressing here. 36-25. Allen out to Davis. Shot is missed. Brown with another rebound. Misses. Ball is tipped off the hands of Jarvis into Davis' hands. Plattsburgh will get a chance to take some more time off the game clock. Their lead is at 11. Brown puts it to the floor. Garen knocks it loose. It'll be over and back. Bilger ball, Gooley will inbound. Lambert back to Gooley. Garen, excuse me, Corrier. Corrier with a turnaround. Again, Cougars are not pressing. Cougars are not pressing. It's a nine point ball game. 5 11 remaining. Blacksburg leading 36 to 29. Adam Dutil trying to rouse the Cougar fans. Davis to Missouri. Now Allen. Looks like the Cougars might be in a man to man. Corrier to Garand up for Gooley. And Missouri with a push. Nine point ball game. 4.49 remaining. Cougars will keep it. Gooley will inbound it. Corey hits the bottom of the backboard. Drown comes up with the ball. Davis. Traveling on Allen. Phillips in the goalie. Jarvis puts one up in the paint. Too strong. And we have a jump ball. Tyler and Corrier tied up. Northeastern's turn. Goalie will inbound it. Drown steps in front of the pass, steals the ball. Davis. Stops, puts it up short, rebounded Corrier. Up for Phillips. Phillips lays it up too strong. Tyler with the rebound. 
3.45 remaining. Nine point lead, Plattsburgh. Allen with the ball. Down call for traveling. 3.29 to go. 36 for Plattsburgh, 27 for Northeastern. Jarvis into the forecourt. Gulley takes the shot, gives it back to Jarvis. And Jarvis drops it in. Seven point ball game. Again, Cougars are not pressing for some unknown reason. Blocking foul call. Blocking foul call. First foul on Gooley, fifth foul on the Cougars. Lambert will come back in. He'll replace Phillips. 3 6 left in the game, seven point difference. Plattsburgh leads. John Fountain wants a timeout. Plattsburgh ball. Allen will inbound it. Five seconds to get it in, gets it into Davis. Davis breaks three and scores. 38-29. Gooley brings it down. Poirier controls. Down with the rebound. Two and a half to go. Allen to Davis. Crossford running the clock down. Davis shot, gets the rebound, she'll come out and bring some more time down. Cougars not playing a man to man. And <laughs> Davis using that clock, gets the shot up and scores. Good heads up play, Davis puts the team up by 11. And Cougar timeout. Plattsburgh High School appears to be a minute and 47 seconds away from a major upset during the Class B semifinals. Ball's tipped. Cameron in gives it to Gooley. But Tyler takes it. Allen with the ball. Foul is called on Chelsea Cameron. Sixth team foul on the Cougars. Some of the faithful are heading for the door. Five seconds to get it in. Mazur gets the ball. There's Davis. She's going to use all the clock she can. Jarvis cannot afford to foul her. And the Cougars are not fouling. They're not stopping the clock. Now finally, Guerin steps up and commits the foul. Foul for second seven. one and one for Drown. Blasford up by 11. The Cougar fans are very, very quiet. The inevitable has sunk in that uh, this one is all but over unless a miracle and uh, <coughs> the way the Cougars have, have run their offense and defense this last half, there's not much chance for a miracle. Just haven't uh, forced the issue. Drown to Davis. 48 seconds. 
more people heading for the exits. There'll be an exuberant Plattsburgh crowd and a very subdued Northeastern crowd. Northeastern heavy favorites to get to the finals for the game against Serenat. Was supposed to be a battle. But instead, it's going to be the Plattsburgh High School Hornets going to face the Saranac Central Miss Chiefs. 12-point lead for Plattsburgh with 49.3 on the clock. Debbie Davis at the line. Hits them both. 42-29. Jarvis. To Garen. Aaron throws it up. No time for anything else. Gotta just gonna shoot and hope for the best. Coye takes a three. Shot is missed. Allen with the rebound. And Cougars foul to stop the clock, but at this point, why bother? Cougar fans somberly exiting. Allen at the line for the Hornets. With Stephanie Brody injured. The Hornets appeared to have little chance in this game. Brody had been a big factor in their last meeting. Plattsburgh right. is going to win this one. Poirier with a steal. Makes the layup. 12.7 on the clock. Welcome to Davis. 43-31. That's going to be the final. We have seven seconds. Tyler will shoot, top the basket. 45-31 is the final. Plattsburgh High School with the upset victory over the highly favored Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. They'll go to the Section 7 Class B final to face the Saranac Central Miss Chiefs. And that's the way it was. February 21st, 2003. You've been watching Hometown Cable. Win or lose. This is TV worth your support. Our thanks to those of you who are watching and supporting Hometown Cable's ongoing efforts.